This video is still on the chapter of square matrices. We have been introducing the concept of uh, conjugate matrices, complex matrices and conjugate matrices. We just saw in the previous video videos we uh, I think I proved all these properties of um, conjugation in complex matrices. Now we are going to introduce a very important concept. So this matrix that we saw in the previous videos, the let me write in a different way, the conjugate transpose. This matrix is also called the um, Hermit matrix or Hermitian, Hermitian conjugate. There are lots of words for, for this. Conjugate transpose, this one, conjugate and transpose. Hermitian transpose or only Hermitian, Hermitian conjugate, bedaggered matrix, I will explain later why, or even a joint, a joint in a very different sense. Okay, so maybe not to, maybe not to look at this now. Okay, because it might uh, confuse you with some other adjoint matrix. Okay, so the conjugate transpose or emitian transpose. Okay, um, is this matrix, and we have lots of notations for this. Okay, uh, a very common one is this one, but now it depends. Uh, this H is for this mathematician um, Hermit, so this means Hermitian. Okay, so um, so as far as notation is concerned, you, we can use this transpose of conjugate or conjugate of transpose or this A sort of star okay and this means Hermitian okay or this one too okay a Hermitian Hermitian conjugate okay this notation and this notation is very common in linear algebra this is the more usual notation for linear algebra okay this too but in some other other areas there are different notations the other notation for this concept is this a with a sort of a cross here but we call this a dagger okay and in quantum mechanics um, this is the usual notation for uh, the Hermitian transpose in quantum mechanics. Okay, we call it a dagger. Okay, it's usually in every single book you'll see this a dagger. So a dagger is nothing else but your Hermitian transpose. Okay, but sometimes you can also see in other areas, for instance, this symbol like a plus here. It's not exactly a plus, but it's like a plus. So this notation is more common in this is very this is used more than what we call the more Penrose. That's the famous physicist and mathematician. Uh, pseudo inverse. I think it is written this way. Okay. This is more using that sort of uh, notation, okay? But this is in the context of what we call um, integral operators and that sort of stuff. So we don't want to get into this now. Okay, so conjugate transpose, right? Conjugate transpose or Hermitian transpose. And let us keep in mind this notation and probably even this easier one that remind us 
uh, Hermite, a f uh, famous French mathematician. Okay, so this will be this uh, Hermitian matrix. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to give a quick example. This matrix A. 2 plus 8i, 5 minus 3i, 4 minus 7i, 6i, 1 minus 4i, 3 plus 2i. Now, you should check by yourself if this one is Hermitian or not. So, first check the, um, the conjugate, right, and then transpose and uh, see what happens. So, I hope I did not make any mistake. So, the conjugate transpose of matrix A, so the, the Hermitian matrix will be this one, right? 2 plus 8, the conjugate will be 2 minus 8. 6i, the conjugate will be minus 6i, and then you transpose it and you get minus 5, minus 6i. So that will be 5 plus 3i, 1 plus 4i, 4 plus 7i, 3 minus 2i. Okay, so this is the um, Hermitian conjugate. Okay, last note. When is the Hermitian equal to the transpose? Well, this happens only if the conjugate is the same as the matrix, okay? Because if the conjugate is the same as, as the matrix, then the conjugate transpose, I transpose both sides, will be equal to a transpose, okay? So then the Hermitian will be equal to a transpose, right? But for that, a should be a real matrix, right? Otherwise this will uh, never happen.